Hey guys, just finished the first version of Gizi Sky compatibility to Open ePaper Link. So normally you would have like an access point with an ESP32 S3, for example, and one ESP32 C6 or a ZBS243 S Zigbee interface. But by utilizing the integrated uh, Bluetooth inside the ESP32 S3, we can directly communicate with these Gizi Sky displays. I did show them in an earlier uh, video where I reverse engineered the official protocol of it. And that means you can now use just a development board like uh, such one without any soldering, flash open ePaper link onto it and directly use such displays you can find at AliExpress and Alibaba. Currently in this version, uh, the access point is scanning every minute for BLE devices. And since these uh, do advertise their data, they will get recognized and added to the Open ePaper Link um, database. So you have here both of the displays here, the 4.2 and 2.9 inch, and it will also have the correct infos like battery and RSSI. And if we, for example, now change the content, like uh, so, let's uh, make the screen a bit bigger, we can upload it and the ESP32 will connect to the BLE device of that display. And you should see it in a moment here. Uh, there we go. It did compress the image and is now uploading it directly from the ESP32 and has now all the data uploaded and the screen is refreshing. And also Open ePaper Link, Open e -paper link notices it and yeah, we'll have it as um, uploaded. And in the end, it's the same on the 2.9 inch as well. So if we select different content and let it generate, the ESP32 will then yeah, connect to it via Bluetooth again. And we should see it in a moment happening like so. And then it will also upload the data to the ePaper display like that. And it will refresh to it. So this means even with just a bare dev board, we can now yeah, have such nice information displays and don't need to solder or flash any displays as it's directly working. Right now it's um, only yeah optimized for the Nano C6 AP, but can be yeah also ported to such a bare um, dev board without much hassle. And on the Nano C6 AP, for example, everything else is of course working the same way as before and like the Zigbee displays will work still. And this also means we can like, yeah, add even more BLE or Bluetooth displays to it by having this, yeah, static, starting code uh, to, yeah, continue on from. And it's quite nice to see it working that well while still being connected to Wi-Fi. Okay.